all right doing a real quick video here um wanted to do a crafting video for how to make the uh, more end game stuff for the detonate dead necromancer setup and like the methods that i would use to make all these items and then i remembered that this league is a crafting league and there's going to be new methods to crafting everything and i don't know how relevant any of this is going to be so instead of doing a whole fully detailed thing i'm just going to quickly speed run it of how i would currently make basically most of these items but um, just keep in mind that the League Mechanic may invalidate most, if not like all of these methods, because the League might be better at doing all of it. We'll see. But either way, um, there's a shared theme in a lot of stuff, and it's starting with Fractured Bases because they're way too good. And usually it's Fractured Spell Suppression on the items that can get it, because it's way too good. But anyway, uh, the weapon is literally on the POB just two stats, Fire Damage and Cast Speed. Uh, a realistic weapon probably doesn't have fire damage, it probably has minion damage, which you would get from Essences of Fear. So like a deafening Essence of Fear I think goes up to 94, 95% minion damage. You'd use that until you hit cast speed, probably, and then just like a null down. You, this has one open prefix, so basically you'd have to get at least one open prefix and two open suffixes by annulling, and then just do your multi-mod, good to go. Uh, shield. Realistically, the best way to get shields tends to be Rog. He's really good at making shields with high tier mods and like hitting things like spell suppression, suppression randomly. And otherwise, shields are kind of just a huge pain in the ass to craft. But if you do want to try to craft one yourself, you're probably going to want a fractured base. Um, and if you're in trade league, usually shield is one of the pieces that's like makes decent sense to buy because sometimes there's just good shields to buy rather than craft. But if you have to craft it, uh, you almost need, like, good spell suppression if you want, like, any decent. If you could get away with, like, just 10% suppression, that's the amount you can bench craft. Then things change a lot, but I'm going to assume you need, like, a higher roll. Uh, you'd probably need fractured spell suppression and then most likely use essences of greed for life rolls until you hit some other good stats, whether that be, like, probably a resist like this has on the suffix and then some ES evasion because the ES evasion is actually pretty important in this current setup. So everyone just want both of those things or like a hybrid life roll like this shield has is good. And then uh, just do your bench craft for double damage. Or if you wanted to risk it a little bit more, you could also do like Ashling. It's not Ashling, it's a Veiled Orb now to try to get Unveiled double damage or some Unveiled suffix can be good. And if you have Fractured Suppression, then you can uh, just lock prefixes to do that and you won't lose your suppression because it's Fractured. Uh, but either way, yeah, pretty much need Fractured Suppression or just get one from ROG or get one from Trade. Uh, Helmet's another one where you want Fractured Suppression. You could do Fractured Life, but uh, Helmet tends to be one. You want to have that crafted prefix. You want a prefix open. So, eh. Um, but if you get Fractured Suppression, you just use Essences of Greed until you hit, like, two good suffixes. This one only has one res suffix on it, but, like, maybe you get two resists or a resist in, like, dexterity because the build needs lots of dexterity whatever it may be and then you need your open prefix you craft your uh taking as fire body armor is similar to shield where rog can be pretty good at making body armors but it's kind of a pain to get the right bases because if you don't have a high tier base it's going to be rough because on this body armor we actually are going for like armor evasion with no life roll so the base matters a lot uh but you know rog might get you something nice maybe trade gets you something nice otherwise again fractured spell suppression and this one's like almost not impossible but like it's really really sucks if you don't have fractured suppression if you do have fractured suppression base um you're either doing like dense fossils or reforged defense on harvest most likely you can do things like just spam le resist essences like maybe if you were in ssf and just had an abundance of extra le resist essences but basically the main thing you're looking for while crafting is to try to get those two prefixes the percent armor evasion and the flat armor evasion with one more open prefix or the benchcraft, and then the suffixes, you just want stuff that's not useful. So, like, this one just has one extra res. But if you get your prefixes done, then, um... It's not too bad to just work with the suffixes, because it's a uh, Eater Exarch item. You can use those kinds of Elder currencies if you need to. Gloves, same deal. Fractured Suppression, you can get away with Fractured Life. This one's actually not a terrible one to do Fractured Life on instead. So, like, let's say if you wanted, um these stats right you could get fractured life spam cold resist essences until you hit suppression and then it needs an open suffix on top of that you could have that open suffix lock suffixes reforge chaos to get chaos res and since the life is fractured it doesn't go away 
Otherwise, you can do Fractured Suppression, just spam life essences until you hit some good res. But when you want Chaos Res on an item, it tends to actually be pretty nice to have Fractured Life instead of Fractured Suppression. Or alternatively, if you had Fractured Suppression, you could do Chaos Res Essences until you hit a life roll. That also uh, will work. But one or the other. Um, and then Boots is, again, same thing. But Boots is probably the most beneficial to be Fractured Life. Because with Boots, if you have Fractured Life, what you can do is you can, you know, let's say roll for Resist Essence until you hit Suppression. This one has an open suffix for the other one, which kind of makes things a little bit easier. So in that case, you would potentially, like, multi-mod to fill up the last suffix and craft suffixes can't be changed and then do the Veiled Orb to uh, get movement speed and then do your bench craft and you're pretty much done really, really quickly with life fracture on the boots. But again, you can also work with suppression fracture. Either works. Um, rings, I'm kind of going to assume you're not going to get fractured, at least in hard courts. Like, you're not finding Fractured Vermilion Rings for any basic stats, and you're, like, if you're getting a Fractured Vermilion Ring, you're doing it yourself. Not really something in the scope of this setup. And then, like, Fractured Amethyst Rings are kind of a pain to find with good stats. So we're assuming you're not getting Fracture. But uh, to get something like this, what you would probably be doing is, like, Dexterity Essence until you hit one good suffix, so, like, a basic resist, like Fire Cold Lightning. And then an open suffix, and then you would lock suffixes, reforge chaos to get chaos resin. If it's good, then you go. If it's bad, maybe you start over. But either way, you'd get your three suffixes, and then you would lock suffixes again. And normally what you do is, like, you could veiled chaos, but they're gone. Um, you might have to lock suffixes, and if you have some, like, dead prefixes, you might need to scour it and then lock suffixes again. And then do the veiled orb, and basically you're just going for unveiled life roll, which goes up to 60 life. But it's basically the only way to do that and then still have a... That would give you the option of still having an open prefix to benchcraft a second minus cost, which the build may end up needing, unsure. Um, and then this ring is basically the same idea. You would most likely do the same thing. Alternatively, like let's say you got your decks taken care of somewhere else and, I don't know, you really, really, really want to hit a good life roll on your Vermilion ring with the life quality. Uh, in that case, you would just spam Reforge Chaos in Harvest Bench until you hit, like, Solid Chaos Res with a good life roll. And just hope the rest of the stats are good, I guess. Um, belt, this is basically just some basic suffixes with double life rolls. You can just get a Hunter Belt and use, like, Pristine Fossils. And just hope you hit the two life rolls with some good stuff. Which isn't too bad to hit the two life rolls. It's usually just the problem is the other stats that come with it are pretty bad. Uh, what I like to do, which is a little risky, it's not as bad in trade because you can usually sell the failed project, is craft a belt that's not influenced. So in this case, you would use like maybe strength essences or res essences until you hit like, you know, some good stuff. Like there's like two good suffixes, life prefix, open suffix, open prefix, whatever. And then you use a hunter exalt and just hope that you hit percent life. And the other options on hunter exalt for a prefix is like flask charge on crit, which is very rare and percent chaos damage and usually you can find someone if you hit percent chaos instead of percent life you can usually find somebody to buy that because it still is a pretty good belt it's just not what you're looking for so that's uh that's the way i like to do that and i think it's like a one in five to hit t1 percent life so it would be like a two out of five chance to hit percent life at all so it's almost 50 50 it's, it's not too bad um that's how i would do it and then uh all these jewels are just like basic jewels. I mean, I'm just buying these. I'm not really trying to craft jewels. Um, I guess reforge life on stuff if you need to. Um, the cluster jewel with the Dorianis and all that. I don't remember. You do. It might be alt regaling. That one I should figure out. I'll I'll put it in like the video description because I don't remember off the top of my head if it's alt regaling or if you can do something good with fossils. It's one of the two. I think it might be alt regaling where you alt basically you alt spam until you hit Doriani's lesson alongside any prefix, and then you regal and hope to hit another prefix notable. I'm pretty sure is how you do it. I'll confirm in the description. But um yeah. 
Cluster jewels probably won't be affected by the league mechanic. I don't think they've shown anything that suggests that you could craft cluster jewels with it. I don't know how that would work anyway, but the rest of this stuff, um, all the things here may be very well, like, partially or fully invalidated by just better crafting methods from the league mechanic, which I hope is the case, because it would suck if we had a crafting league and then the league was actually not good at crafting. Yeah. That's everything. Start the speedrun as quick as I could. Hope it's useful. Thanks for watching. Bye.